For me, education has got two legs. The formal education and the informal education. That's why Jim Rohn said, a formal education will make you a living, but informal education will earn you a fortune. So you have to find a school that aligns with your values. I do speak to a lot of Africans living in the diaspora, willing to move back home to Ghana or Africa, but are being held back because of their kids' education. They always say they'll move back home when their kids complete their formal education, get a job, and become independent. In this video, I speak to Mr. Nemo, a father of seven who's been able to move to Ghana from UK with six of his children, on how he and his wife are educating them in Ghana. I think you'll find this useful. It's about the welfare of the child because bringing them abroad to a new environment is completely different. Mm. So with a mouse click, you can have the skills and work in the US. My name is Mickey. Keep watching. Mr. Nemo, mm -hmm. happy new year. Happy new year, Mickey. <laughs> Mickey's back in the house. Yeah, he's yeah. looking too well. Yes. <laughs> You're looking very well. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, so we will get straight into the um, mm -hmm. conversation. The last time we had a conversation, when was when was that? That was almost two. That nearly a year now. Uh, yeah, nearly a year. And we touch on education, mm -hmm. how you are educating your kids that you brought from UK, mm -hmm. and you said a lot about informal education. But mm -hmm. I think most of the view, not most of the viewers, mm -hmm. some of the viewers thought that you have skipped the formal education and you are only concentrating on the informal mm. education. And I wanted to ask this question. There are a lot of people who are not moving to Ghana because mm. they think because of their kids' formal education, it will be difficult to, to move here. How are you doing this? And how are you approaching it with your kids? Okay, so it's like two parts. Let yes. me first answer. Um, I mean, for those who are, who are thinking, I've skipped or we've skipped the yeah, formal education. No. So let me first start with education. Mm -hmm. Like I explained when we were talking earlier. So for me, education has got two legs. Mm -hmm. I call it the two legs of education. The formal education and the informal education. In life, I mean, most of the things have got like two sides. Like the two sides of a coin. Mm -hmm. If you take like computer, you have this zero and one. So when it comes to education too, you have the two legs of education. And the first leg, that's the formal education. That's when we start from the kindergarten or nursery then to primary, in Ghana, GHS, go to SHS and then university. So that's the, that's the formal education. And that is mostly career oriented. That's right. career oriented. Then we have the informal education. Those ones are not taught mostly in school. So that's why Jim Rohn said, a formal education will make you a living, mm. but informal education will earn you a fortune. Mm. So when I heard that thing, I started like, thinking about it. And if you look at it, and I said also in the first interview, a lot of people say, oh, Bill Gates stop school. No, he didn't stop education. Probably he stopped formal education oh. because he was maybe in college or Mark um, Zuckerberg in, 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 in college. He said he dropped out. They don't stop education. They just made a switch from formal to informal. Mm. Because like the informal education is more like project is focused. Like if you... When I was learning how to build websites, I mean, I did, I had a website agency for seven years. Um, since 2006, I've been like working online. I've been on my own since 2006. Mm. My last job was in 2005 in Germany mm. uh, in a software company, SAP Software. Okay. And when that one finished, I switched to learning how to build websites. Mm. So. I did that for maybe so two years and then it became my full-time business from 2008 to 2015. Okay. So 2015, then I switched from um, building a web websites to digital marketing and 
e-commerce physical products on Amazon and stuff. And that's what I've been doing now and teaching students who want to start online business as well. So the informal side is mostly like self-education. Mm. So when I was learning how to build websites, I would just take, let's say, um, a small project. I would take maybe my church. I remember I took my church website and I wanted to build a website for church. So once you take that project, you look for the ingredients. Mm. You look for the ingredients. You see? You look for the ingredients. And you need, you need the two. You, you can't do f informal education without the formal. The formal, you learn how to read and write. If you learn, learn how to read and write, how can you? Yes. Contact so it's so. very, very important. But the thing is, with the formal education is that, you know, when, when you go through, get your degree, you think you've, you've finished. Because it's, it's as always get an end to it. Mm. University three years, you have your master's degree, uh, bachelor's degree or four years, two years master's. We think it is finished. But edu real education is lifelong. The informal one is lifelong. Mm. You keep learning. Look at now, we have the, the AI stuff. Mm. Some, I mean, I've, been, I've immersed myself in the AI stuff. I mean, because it has changed the way we do business. Okay. E-commerce things have changed. I mean, the way we do research has changed. The way we design has changed. The way we run ads on Facebook, everything has changed. And there's an AI tool for everything. So you have to dive into. So if you say, oh, I'm not learning. These are stuff, sometimes the investors, they lag behind because mm. things, in this digital age, things move fast. And by the time they craft the curriculum, others are way, 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 way ahead. Mm. You see? So... You need both. You need both the formal education and the informal education. education. Very, very, very important. Mm. Very, very important. Yeah. Okay. And the second one was. So, so if you are bringing kids, say mm -hmm. if someone is is abroad mm -hmm. in the West and they are bringing their kids, what are some of the ways that they can equip them for the future? Okay. So let's say you plan like a, like a family, you move to move your children yeah. here. Good. The, the, I mean, the most challenging thing, I mean, I mean, the thing for most of the families is find the right school for their children. And you have to take a lot of factors, a lot of things. Um, um, sometimes um, the proximity to the school. Mm. If you're driving, sometimes people don't, those who don't, have, who don't drive, they will take maybe taxis and, you know, they'll do that uh, for it. So you have to find a school that um, aligns with your values. That's very, very important. And the welfare of the child, that's very, very, very important. And you have to keep monitoring because sometimes they'll start fine, they'll feel fine, and then, you know, you know issues will come and they won't, yeah. So you have to keep monitoring. Just make sure it's about the welfare of the child because bringing them abroad to a new environment is, 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 is completely different. Mm. You know, some of the things that, for example, um, like UK, for example, they are used to doing stuff with uh, like on tablets, you know, writing notes and stuff. But here we do a lot of notes writing, get a lot of test books, mm. like um, notebooks. Yeah. We have a lot of notebooks and uh, as, 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 I mean, we, <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's, 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 it's different. So mm. find a school that align, I mean, um, 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 aligns with your values. That's very, very important. And it's not only, only the formal education. It's not only the formal education. We live in a world where, I mean, I tell, I tell my children, you need multiple skills. I call it, we, always, we say multiple streams of income. income yeah. I call it multiple skills of skills income. Of income. Okay. Multiple skills of income. You need to be able to pivot. I mean, when we had the pandemic, People who had restaurants, those a lot of people, they 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 couldn't do anything with their business. Mm. But some pivot, they 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 just Found thought, yeah. yeah. You see, so we live in a world where, like I told you earlier, before I traveled to Germany, right after sixth form, after national service, when my mates were entering university in '89. 
And then that back the time, internet was not there. Internet came in 93. Mm. So now we live in a digital age with just a mouse click, you're in the US. Mm -hmm. So I always tell people, the internet is the world we live in. Now, your data, your data is the visa. You need to assess that world. Mm. And the skills you have will earn you money in the world. Yeah. You see? So with a mouse click, you can have the skills and work in the US. When I show you some of the office my brother gets, my brother is high, he's a top manager here. Mm. Some of the jobs that he gets, office that he gets remote, and the money that they are preparing to pay mm. is insane. So you just, the skill set, you just need, set. all you need is the skill. Mm. When you have the good internet, and thank God, we've got fiber optic here. Mm. We go, when I came in, our area didn't have, uh, we had, fiber optic here, but not outside. So I told them to, I paid for the installation, but when they came, they said there were, there were no poles here. So a year later, I went back, so we were using our phones for um, this, uh, for hotspots. hotspots here. Mm. But then when we, a year later I got then I got a pole myself. I mounted a pole, they came there, and then they did everything fine. As a matter of fact, my internet here is faster than when I was in the UK. In the UK. And you, you never even thought about that. Mm. Some when I'm working with my students online, we do Zoom, they share their screen or I share my screen. They're like, wow, your internet <laughs> looks very fast. You know, these are things that you, you, you never think is, is possible here. Mm. So if you have access to these things, now you are online. You are in the world, you are everywhere with a mouse click. You can study, you can go to Harvard online. Mm. I get MIT, for example, I, I've been having a conversation with them, MIT, they have um, a partnership with one university about data science and machine learning, AI, because I wanted to, uh, I was, uh, for, for, for the children, I was looking for the boys. Mm. Now, IBM, for example, has got an um, AI engineering in, uh, in, um, uh, with IBM that you can do for 10 months and get IBM certification. Okay. By here, here, you, you, you don't have to go anywhere. Stanford, all of them, um, they have programs. Go to Coursera. You can get, you can get um, Google. Google mm. has got professional certification, digital marketing and e-commerce that will open doors for you and those certificates you just put on your LinkedIn profile and they will just rush you mm. and you can get everything here so whilst you're getting the formal education getting the children to uh, socialize and getting don't neglect that aspect yeah so that was where people they didn't get you that they no, think no, you no. are focusing more on, no 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 but no. We, we have we, to we do both yeah we do both so I mean we I have to we, we, we do both. I, I always tell people, you cannot stand on one leg. On one leg, yeah. Education, two legs. Yeah. Formal education, informal education. Mm. You cannot stand on one. Yeah. You need this one. You need the formal one to fuel mm. the informal one. Because if you can't read and write, how can mm. you learn how to do AI? But the informal is also important. The informal is, is where fortunes are made. Fortunes are made, yeah. The informal is where, for, where you learn like product creation. I was listening to one guy who came from India, it's called, um, forgotten the name. I just saw, I just saw, I just, I've, I've not even watched, finished watching this video. It was an AI tool, it's called Perplexity okay. AI. And it's like, um, it's a disruptor for Google. So I was listening to this guy, came from India to one of the top like universities in India to San Francisco, Silicon mm -hmm. Valley, and went to Berkeley doing his PhD, finished his PhD, and then started his company. And he's created this powerful uh, uh, um, AI tool mm. that's like search, like the answers are like top notch. Mm. And that is going to like disrupt Google okay. at some point. So mm. these are some of the things, you know, that is very important. Like he's got a, the, 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 uh, the, informal, the formal education, mm. but they don't stop there. They learn they things learn. on their own. Self-education mm. is important. 
sometimes we are we are just too comfortable with the formal education. Formal education. We we are like like um, um, because it's when you finish, you get a degree, you you get another one, mm -hmm. and you think it's, it's you, you are done. But you need to you need to continue mm -hmm. with the informal education. You need the two. You need the two. So, like you said, when you are coming, you bring kids here. It's great. Find schools that align with, with your values. Check those schools, ask questions. Just, you can do um, um, like, they can maybe like test drive, go there mm. with the children. But whilst you're doing that, make sure you do that. There are a lot of courses online, mm. a lot of, I mean, go to Allison. Allison mm. has got free courses, diplomas you can take there. Skills, there are so many places that you can mm. learn online. Or, or, or maybe whatever business you are in, you can also give them, you know, an internship in it. Because I've spoken to two people. One of them owns a um, series of laundry. And they've given one of, one of the branch to their, I think she's 20 years, 23, 22 years. And she's running that. And through that, she's learning how to run a business. And then I was speaking to the owner of Asantua Premier Hotel. And what he told me was, his case is going through the Ghana formal education, but then every time they come home, they do an internship in his hotel, and he's teaching them how to do hospitality business. So that's a way that they are also teaching their kids. So yeah, there is, it's... That, that, yeah. That, that, that's good, and that um, reminds me, for when, I, when I was in the UK, um, like all the children from Duke, because that time I had an office, mm. And then it was not far from their school. And Duke had finished, um, I think, it's, um, he had finished, he was about to go to uni. But I always said that before you go to uni, um, build a business first before you go to uni. Mm -hmm. So that you can use the business to fund yourself. I'm not going to send you money like that. Oh, <laughs> you have got seven children. <laughs> so, yeah, so, yeah, so that's what I just tell you. Just build a business. So Duke used to, we used to work with me, and I started actually mentoring when he was 13. Mm. That time I was building computer. I, would buy a lot of, I bought a lot of computers to ship to Ghana, and then by the time he came, he will like, dismantle them and build them and then take all the parts from all of them. I used to build a master computer, and I would be annoyed. I said, ah, you've destroyed these <laughs> computers. Yeah, so I mentioned a little the graphic design and everything. So he has always been, you know, uh, been always mentoring him. And then once they were in school, they had to do internship or placement. Mm. And they always, all of them, Duke, Naomi, Dwayne, Kofi, they all did their, yeah. So one time they used me as a case study for the kids' school. Okay. The, the teacher came home to see what, uh, where they work or, mm. yeah. So I was at home, living my, in my living room at the corner like that. And then, but when she saw what I was doing, she told them in school and then, took my number and then the following day or following week, my, my phone, everyone was calling. They all, they, they all wanted to work with me, but I didn't have an office, so okay. yeah. So finally, finally, in case anybody is watching this video and they didn't see the first video, there was one juicy part that I want you to retreat. Moving to Ghana mm -hmm. without savings, mm -hmm. but with systems. Mm -hmm. How important is this, mm -hmm. finally? Mm -hmm. How yeah. important is building service, um, system? Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, um, the, we were talking that about that before we even started recording. I mean, when Mickey came here, it was yeah, more than a year ago. Yeah. And when they came, the house was not painted yeah. and they, were, they came here and said, wow, a lot has changed here. And, yeah. and I would say, um, it's, it's good how we documented everything. And... Um, like I said, with, with savings, I remember when I told Mickey, we came with no savings. He says, I'm writing the title with no savings. Mm. I, issue, I, say, I say, we came with no savings, no Mickey. Then I can show you my bank, <laughs> my mm. bank, um, the, the bank statement at that yeah. time, you know? And um, the funny thing was, I was, I, I, was, I, I, um, I, I, I shared with you, with, with my friend, with my friend Eric, with the COVID thing. Yeah, yeah. That time we had exhausted, like, I mean, we were a family of um, eight moving. And the money involved that time, even the COVID um, 
money. The test. The UK, the test in the UK. And the Ghana one was almost two thousand. I mean, dollars. Yeah. Because UK one for was eight people. Isn't yeah, it? for eight people. UK one was almost seven hundred pounds, and Ghana was nine hundred dollars. Wow. Yeah. And then the storage, the shipping, everything. So that time we had to buy the Ghana one before you can board the plane. Mm -hmm. So there was this website where you have to you pay have to before. Pay, yeah, yeah. 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 In advance. Yeah. So I was awaiting a transfer to my account, and that money was not coming. And the time was, we had to buy before, I mean, we could get a train, uh, the, the plane. So I called, I, I called Eric, Eric, send me, send me 500 pounds, and then uh, I'll send it to you later. So Eric sent the 500 pounds, and then we, bought, we added to what we had, and then um, we paid. So it was 50 pounds left or something when, when we came here. But the, mo the most important thing was, I would tell people like, when you go, you see the 100 meters, when they are, they are running and you see two of them, like people like competing, they want to, so they, they will just, if, if it is the head, they will just cross the line with the head or with mm. something, just cross the line. That was all I wanted, just yeah. cross the line, just get here. Just get here and set up your computer. De just, just get here. That was all, mm. that's all uh, uh, we, we, we needed. And I thank God that I brought that, uh, from Eric, so we, we talk about it and we laugh. I said mm. that that's the proof that there was no saving. Because if I had saving, why would I go and b b b borrow five hundred pounds uh, on top? You see, so when we came, it was like the fifty pounds or something in the account, but we were happy because, like I said, we've built. Uh, I mean, my Amazon business has been there for seven years. I had my Etsy business and like. Everything is online. I've got clients that I, I still service their website and stuff. So you have affiliate marketing. So it's like you've diversified your online income streams. Mm -hmm. And so you don't get like a paycheck like once a month. Some platforms like T Public, they will pay like to, uh, 15th of every month. Mm. Redbubble, they are all like online marketplaces. Online marketplace. okay. This one pays at this time. This one pays through PayPal. This one pays through bank. So. Mm. When you, when you have this system just like in place, when you put this in place, you have online business in place. It can be a membership site. Mm. It can be a membership site where you build a membership site. Recently, I did, I did a video, a three-part video, very powerful series I did mm. about seven online business you can build yeah. before you move. And I, I shared very deep, 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 deep stuff business there. The one, one thing I shared was membership. Membership is one of the powerful systems you can build. Mm. Look at Netflix, or oh, they are all memberships, or oh, they call it continuity, yeah. 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 So you can just build a membership site based on your niche, mm -hmm. based on your niche. So you can teach, and you can say, okay, 10 pounds a month. So let's say your goal is to make $1,000 here in Ghana. Mm. 10 pounds, and you have 100 students. Isn't it, this is not 1,000? That's 1,000, yeah. Uh-huh. So can't you get more than thousand? Yeah, you, you can see? get more. Yeah. No, it's not. It's not a rocket science. Mm. It's it's something that is, is doable. And I, I know people doing that. I mean, in different niches. Mm. You see. So once you have that system, if you have, and I always advise people, no matter what you do, no matter your physical job you're doing, your nine to five job you're doing, diversify your income sources. We saw what happened, and make sure. One income source is coming from the internet, internet. because oh. when the world was at standstill, it was the internet. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> yeah. Thank you yeah. very much. You see, so it's very important, very important. So one thing I'll leave, I'll, I'll, I'll leave the viewers. I love to give value. Mm. Just we are in 2024. Sit down and take inventory of yourself. Take inventory of yourself. Take inventory of your skill sets. What do you have? We all have something to offer. What do you have of value that you can offer? Just like Elisha asked the, 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 widows, uh, the widow, say, what do you have in your house to, of value? Mm -hmm. He said, I've got nothing, just, just a little oil. And that little oil, you saw what happened. Yeah. So we all have something. Whether you, are, you want to sell physical products like T-shirt, hoodies, or can, even candles now, Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'll be doing a case study with my students of a lady who, who built a candle business. 
candle, scented candle mm. business, fragrance. 15 months, she made $2.5 million. Mm. So there are so many products out there. And look at things that you are, some people start passionate, uh, you, you, you start with your passion or you build on a profit. Just start with yourself. What are things that excite you that at the same time can solve problems for people in the marketplace? We all have something that we can, we can sell. If not, you can learn new skills, learn new skills. Even like um, online marketplaces, like um, freelance places, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. um, Fiverr Fiver. and yeah. Upwork. Mm -hmm. You can live here, once you have good internet, you can offer your services there. Mm -hmm. And I always say we are global citizens living in, in a global economy. You can live here and partake in the global economy. And the currency in the global economy is dollars. They pay, yes. So if you live here and you get just a few of a those few dollars, dollars, wouldn't you be happy? You should be good. You should be good. Mm. So, you know? Yeah. So that's, so on top of the formal education mm -hmm. for the kids, we should be thinking about the monetizing their skills. Yes, like those side. And for example, the informal education side. And for example, my wife does the formal, the, the formal education mm. side. I take care of the informal education side. So the first thing I did, I have, um, we did um, a, um, a curriculum for the children, for example. So if you look at it, apart from the, um, the, the, the formal ones, mm -hmm. we have something like entrepreneurship, copywriting, digital marketing, personal development, where mindset and stuff, mm -hmm. animation, graphic design, illustration, and fine art. Creative writing, film and video, mm -hmm. music, fashion design, ICT. And the whole structure is built on mindset, skill set, and, and tool sets. set. That's the whole thing, you see. So, and then we use the approach of knowledge, implementation, and accountability. Mm. You see. So, Alicia, and then languages, they learn uh, German, English, and Chi. Mm -hmm. mm. So what we did was, uh, well, I think that's the formal education side, extremely good. And I did the informal education mm. side. And I start with, um, Google has got, that many people don't know, but Google has got a course that could be like $3,000. They do it for free. Okay. And I've been here, I've helped about uh, over almost like, t almost 20 graduates I've helped them, those who don't have a job, I've mm. helped them to get, that's like, like my private charity, yeah. something I do on the side to help them. And then um, they've got that certification. It's fundamentals in digital marketing okay. from Google. So when you do that, then you, later you can do the professional one. And this, this course are taught by Google professional industry experts. So I got Alicia to do it. I got the three of them, David, Alicia, and yeah. But Alicia did it first. Mm. She's always curious. And she, she did it. And some of the graduates have no, they can't even go through. And she did it at the age of 12. Okay. And she completed it and she passed with 85%. In Ghana. Yeah. And so she's got that one. Mm -hmm. Now, she learned about search engine optimization, email marketing, all the digital marketing stuff, like digital strategy, how to start your own online business. Now, the next thing is, helping her to apply those skills. Like she can start a small business. Mm. She loves, she's creative. So can start a small business and apply those skills once, because the application of skills, application of knowledge is what to give you skills. Yes. Knowledge, uh, uh, skills come from application mm. of knowledge. Because knowledge alone is potential power. When you apply it, apply it, that's where the skills come. So once you have the skills, is the skills that pay the bills. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're doing. Then we have the fashion. I told you that there's this seamstress here. She's extremely good. So um, I'll talk to her so they can go and learn that as well. Because they love, they love like fashion, creating their own stuff. So they have this creative entrepreneurship. They love that. 
So it's also good as parents. That's another tip. At an early age, and that's something that is missing here a lot, mentoring. Mm -hmm. That early age, identifying what your child wants. Mm. Extremely important at early age. Once you know that, then you can support them on that journey. You can combine what you need from the informal side and then add it to the formal one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if someone wants to build a system mm -hmm. online, mm -hmm. I know you, you build websites mm -hmm. and that. Mm -hmm. How can they come to you and then you will teach them? Where can they find you? Okay, you can find me through, um, uh, you can send me an email. Just send me an email, email at douglasnemo.com. That is um, email at D-O-U-G-L-A-S-N-I-M-O-H, Nemo with H. Yeah. We'll com. put it on the screen. Yeah, douglasnemo.com. Or you go to my website, www.douglasnemo.com. Mm -hmm. That's where you can find me. Yeah. yeah. What are the, some of the services you give? What are you going to, what do they expect? What, what I do, I have, um, I teach um, e-commerce. I teach digital marketing. I teach uh, personal development, mindset. I teach, um, especially now I'm working on, um, because I, I, through our channel, Family by Nature, you saw that I put a lot of content out there. Um, and some people say, wow, you could have charged for this. I say, give first, you give value, you know, to help many people. But um, <laughs> the funny thing that sometimes the, the educational videos don't get a lot of views that day. It's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, we were discussing that. Mm. The educational videos, yeah. Mm. yeah, they don't get more views like the cassava views. <laughs> the cassava videos get more views, yeah. Yeah, so the, the, the whole idea is to create a digital awareness. Mm -hmm. Get people, know, uh, just people, get people to think, you know, because everywhere in the world, the cost of living is rising. And if it's rising, you also have to find ways to get, let your income rise to match it. Because how many, I mean, most of the jobs, they will increase your wage. Mm. They will increase your wage, so you have to, find a way to also increase your, your, your income. And that's when you can tap into stuff that you've never thought possible, mm. you know? If you, are, if you know how to sew, there was this lady, she was just about to, they were about to evict them. She started sewing stuff, put it on Etsy, and she built a big business, saved, saved, saved the, 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 the um, was able to pay the rent, and I think right. later she, they got their own house or something. Mm. She built a massive business. But sometimes it come out of the pain that you are now. You can find a solution to what you're going through. Mm. That means others are going through the same thing and you can help them. Sometimes you don't even have the solution. That's why you can do affiliate. Mm -hmm. You can become an affiliate marketer. You can sign up for somebody else's product that mm -hmm. can solve a problem for your target audience. So there are so many things. That's what I teach now. I have a course like Beginners Online Business. Mm. It's called Bob. B O B. Bob. Yeah, okay. Beginners Online Business, where I, it's like something that I wish I had when I was starting online. Mm. So I teach from the beginning the mindset, the skills, and the tools that you need to become an online entrepreneur. Mm. To go through different models, different models. So by the time you finish, the whole idea is to build your first business with the course. So even if you've not done anything online, you get an opportunity to start your first online business. Mm -hmm. So um, if you don't know Mr. Animo, he moved to Ghana and a family of eight. He did not bring any physical cash with him. He had to borrow 500 pounds to do COVID tests. And he's living really well over here. So if he tells you that he's got the tools, I know that he's got the tools. So please yeah, link yeah. up with him. <laughs> Very knowledgeable. I am going to be, I'm always here trying to tap from him. So please link up with him and he will show you the way. That's the, the thing, isn't it? Show you the way. So if you find value in this video, give it a like. Um, subscribe to this channel and subscribe to Family by Family Nature. Family by Nature. And there are more videos there. Our, mm -hmm. yeah, come on our journey. Some of the things that he will show you, he's put it on for free. So please go and check it out. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye. 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 God bless.